What's up fellow collectors the Comic Coalition back here for another video for you guys today Today, I'm not exactly sure what I'm hunting for But I am gonna go check a couple of Walmarts for Infinity War Wave 2 Marvel Legends That's the main thing on the agenda and the main thing that I'm hunting for of course I'm always looking for the newest pops Legos who knows what I might find or what I might buy I'm very impulsive when I see things that I like so you never know what I might find on this hunt but first I think we're gonna go grab something to eat are we gonna grab something to eat first or are we gonna yes I'm hunt hungry. First? all right first we're going to grab something to eat then we're gonna get on the hunt um I actually completed the Deadpool wave but I actually completed the Deadpool wave, but somebody decided to um, misplace Sasquatch's head. She may or may not be in this video. But yeah, so now I got a whole Sasquatch without a head, so I need another X-Force Deadpool. Yeah, it really sucks. I got home, super excited to build a build a figure, and he's just a headless Sasquatch, thanks to... <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna check in with you guys once I get to wherever we're gonna eat at. I don't even know yet. So we decided to go to the place called Umami. Never been here before, but it's still a Japanese express place. Cause she wants bubble tea. So it looks like this is where we'll be eating that today. So I'm also looking for like that Walmart exclusive Captain America pop, but I haven't been able to find it. But I did locate the Deadpool that I needed to find. So here goes the completed build a figure finally. Um, wasn't necessarily too hype for this build a figure because Sasquatch is just not one of my favorite characters or anything like that. But as time progressed and I was just sitting down chilling watching, um, I'm not sure what's that show called when they hunt Bigfoot, finding Bigfoot, I'm not sure what the show's called. But they call it squatching and stuff. And I just started thinking that it would probably be cool to get outdoor toy photos with Sasquatch. So that is why I really wanted this build a figure. It's pretty dope. It's pretty humongous compared to a regular Marvel Legends figure. Definitely bigger than the Thanos that I just built. But I don't think you guys have seen that yet. Actually, I went to a Comic Con, Savannah Mega Comic Con. But. Some of you guys already know, some of you don't. My camera broke, and I haven't been able to get as much footage as I wanted to. It's a tragedy. It's a lot of things going on, but yeah. Camera broke, so I haven't been able to record. I um, missed out on a lot of videos and stuff, and a lot of video opportunities. But I still have a couple of old videos that I haven't uploaded yet that you guys will be seeing sometime in the near future. But... Finally, finally finished this guy. Now I'm going to show you a couple of my other pickups. It's also, it's new comic book day. So I did go pick up a couple of new comics and I picked up some other things. So I'm about to show you that right now. I picked up this Lego set today as well. I got a lot of Lego sets lately. Um, I still need to upload a couple of those videos as well. So for all you Lego lovers, there will be a good bit of Lego videos coming soon. I'm not sure if I'll build this right now or not. I'll have to see. I got like two or three other Jurassic World sets I'm working on. So this one I might just keep for like, you know, later on in life. Who knows? But we will have to see. But I definitely have a couple of Jurassic World sets that I've already built. And I'll be bringing you a review on those within the days to come.
So one of the things I picked up in the comic book shop is I picked up a couple of these Marvel Essentials. I used to have a lot of these growing up. Um, I wanted to read a lot of older comics, but <clears throat> considering how much they cost, you know, you can't really afford to get this many old comics. You know, it costs you thousands and thousands of dollars to get some of these issues. So I like the Marvel Essentials and... I know this says 50% off, but they were actually 75% off at my local comic book shop. So they came out to five bucks a piece. I got the Hulk, I got X-Men, I believe this is volume seven. Hulk is volume four. And I got the Mighty Thor volume five. Now just to show you like about how many issues each one of these contains, you can read that right there. A lot of times they have annuals and stuff as well inside. So here are the comic books that I picked up today. I picked up Domino number two after missing out on issue number one. Um, I've already read it, loved it. I'm definitely going to keep up with this series. Um, I can't lie, Domino is one of those characters that I don't know a lot about, so I was interested in reading it after seeing Deadpool 2. I mean, I'm familiar with her character, but never really read too much up on her. Just saw her in random appearances in like X-Force and Deadpool comic books, but I was, I was really pleased by issue number two, and I'm going to continue reading that series. Now, of course, I had to pick up The Invincible Iron Man issue 600. This is Bendez's last issue with Marvel before he goes over to DC. So this is really important. Um, definitely, he was really big in, for Marvel. One of my favorite. And can't wait to see what he does over there on DC. But definitely had to pick up his last issue over here with Marvel. Haven't read it yet, but probably give you a review on that soon or sooner or later, basically. Also got Black Panther issue number one. I guess it did a revamp. I'm not too sure why it restarted, but a lot of the Marvel titles are restarting over now. So this is always a good jump in, jump in point. If you um aren't reading comics, you know, or you haven't been keeping up lately, within like starting now and over the summer, within the next couple of months, they're revamping a lot of the series. So like Thor number one, Hulk number one, um, Captain America number one, all types of stuff is coming out. And, you know, all the original characters are turning back to who they're supposed to be. So, Tony Stark will be Iron Man and, you know, Bruce Banner will be Hulk, this and that. And this is Black Panther number one. It's obviously a variant cover, as you can see right there. Definitely a dope cover. Loving the artwork on this. Also, haven't read this yet, but definitely looking forward to diving into that soon. And last but, of course, not least, I picked up this Chase... Catwoman Funko Pop over at Toys R Us only paid $4.99 for it so that's always a good deal but I'm signing out for this video like I said I got a lot of videos coming soon some old videos that I still need to post so keep an eye out for those make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more hit that like button and as always you have a great day YouTube